Hello? Jones? Um, we can't hear you or see you at all. Helps if I share screen. Let's try this. Motherfuck. Camera. All right. So, let me bring it back up and go over it a second time. So I moved module four to the top because uh, I realized it was taking a while to fucking scroll down and get to it. So if you're scrolling down looking for it, right now we're in STL code samples and I'm going through the vector ADT example. Uh, so far it's not a whole lot that you didn't know. They decided to do my vector dot end minus my vector dot begin for size rather than just doing this, which is what I added in. And I was saying that the vector int iterator is a data type. It's a pointer. It's a data type, though. Uh, and we can use it. We can use it as an iterator. And iterator arithmetic works. And it works just like temp equals temp.next. Because my vector, since vector is, vector is like a, an array, but in like a list format, uh, a linked list format. And you can see out the crappy way, this is the old using the array notation, or you can do starting at beginning and then going to the end minus one and doing a C out that way. Uh, going to the end is the, the null pointer, so like it doesn't, you don't want to print the end one. Uh, and then since it is a pointer, we have to dereference it. Okay. And then when I was so rudely interrupted by people complaining that they couldn't see or hear me. Can't uh, see your screen. You can see my screen? No, just... can't. What? I can't at least. Is anybody else having problems seeing my screen? God damn it. Can you see it now? Yeah, I can see it now. What the fuck, Juan? You've been sitting right there the whole fucking time, didn't say a goddamn thing. I exited out. Clearly. Juan dropping the ball over here. He's my end class helper and he's fucking it up. All right, round three. Let's try this again. We haven't spent enough time on this. So, I move module four to the top. I'm in SDL code samples. I'm looking at the vector ADT example. So if you're following along at home on round three, uh, I didn't alter it, but for a few things. They did size by doing end minus beginning. That's how we calculate distances in mathematics x2 minus x1, like the slope form y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 is the distance in y over distance in x. Uh, so they're calculating distance there, but I added in, why not just use my vector dot size? Uh, vectors do do the pushback. Not everything in the STL does that, but these do. And STL stands for Standard Tempo Template Library. All right, so that is a data type. 
It's a pointer data type. It's a pointer data type of vectors filled with integers uh, to a vector filled with integers. Uh, so we can, that's the type. So we can set position or the piece of shit vector, piece of shit iterator to the beginning and iterate through them by going saying beginning to end and iterating through and doing a CO. Uh, I said something wrong earlier. But that's good. I fucking three runs through. I fucking finally caught what I said wrong. Uh, this is the old school way of how we used to do stuff. We did i equals zero, and we did i less than my vector dot slide. We did this in CSCI one when we started vectors. Uh, now we can use the iterator. I said n minus one, and I said that's the null pointer. They did n minus one because they didn't want to include the thirteen. Notice, or it didn't go up to nine. It should have on seven plus two should have been nine. They didn't do the last one. So that's what's going on there. It is a pointer, so we do have to dereference it. All right, I think we're caught up. Not a lot new. I didn't tell you anything new that you didn't really know already, other than it's data type. Uh, this is our, I think we glanced at iterator before, but we haven't done anything with it. We're going to start using iterators a lot. Uh, close that. And next thing we're doing is we're going over and looking at the, I just typed in C++ vector library, we went to C++.com and we were looking at the vector, uh, reference information there. They got a lot of information on it. Like if you want, you can read and find out just about anything. The iterator stuff we're looking at is begin and end. Uh, they do have a reverse iterator, I presume to work backwards, like a double linked list. I don't know what constant does. I don't know what constant reverse does. We're just focusing on regular iterators right at this point. You gotta learn how to do, you know, do the baby steps before you start spreading. <coughs> we have size, we knew about that one. Uh, I'm kind of curious what max size is. Let's go take a look at it. What the fuck just randomly moved my cursor? You don't know what it is? Oh fuck, that's pretty big. That seems like a big number. Does it seem like a big number to you guys? 46116860018. It's like a fucking social security. No, it's fucking bigger than social security. It's like a credit card number. God damn. How many fucking places is that? 16? That's the four. Eight. Twelve. No. Nineteen. Nineteen motherfucking places. That's a lot of that. That's a lot of stuff. So I can have a lot of shit. Uh, so when you're not, you want to, you're using something, you're not sure what's available to you, come look at the library. I want you to look at all, all sorts of shit. Uh, empty is nice. You can see if like the vector is empty. This is a good thing when you're trying to delete shit out uh, or doing pop. Where's pop? pop back to delete the last element, you can just say pop back until empty is true. You can go fuck yourself, suspected spam. Oh my god. There's other things we can do. Uh, we, the, we've we seen the at operator before. Front just takes us to the beginning. Or for, actually, front returns the element at the beginning. Begin takes us to the begin, takes the iterator to the beginning. So that's begin is for a pointer. So let's look at begin versus front. So there they had to do, let's just do 
see what we got here. Nope, after we've started it. Do that again, right here where it's easier to find at the end. Uh, find vector begin. And we want to tell it to see out the first entry. Or I can just say, see, it's, this should do the same thing. Front. So the first one acts as a pointer to it. If I don't put zero, Reference it. I think. Let's see without. I know if the temp's doing it, I have to dereference it. Yeah, it doesn't like it. I have to dereference it. Because begin is an iterator command. And so this is a pointer, so I have to dereference the pointer. So there's a couple ways this, these produce the same amount. Uh, What else we got in the library? Uh, we've seen pushback and popback. This was add tail node, add head node, or delete tail node. Uh, we did our own insert. Let's take a look at how insert works here. The vector is extending by inserting new elements before the element at the specified position. So let's see, it does the iterator position and then the value. So like, let's say, comment those out. We do, uh, let's just POS equals my vector begin. Let's put it back there. POS plus plus POS plus plus. That should put us at negative three. So this puts us at negative three. Oh. Hello. Uh oh, I got insert on. Now I have insert on. This puts us at negative two. This puts us at negative one. So I could do my vector insert. Dot position. And let's tell it, are we doing integers again? This is an integer. Uh, so let's make it just something great, like negative seven. And now we'll do this again. Let's add in another CLM line. Oh, it's doing the plus, fuck. I don't want the plus minus. Let's do plus plus. So now it's gone and put a negative seven before the negative one. So it, it moves it to before. Uh, we could look at adding to afterwards. We could add something after the negative one. I think doing plus plus, ooh, ooh. Right. God damn it, insert's on again. Now we want to iterate first, so do plus plus position, and that should do a negative, let's do 13, make sure it looks different. 
That should do one after, I believe. I think. Ah, uh, it told me to go fuck myself. I didn't like that. Rude. Ah, uh, maybe that doesn't work. So you can play around with what's in the, the vector library, look at different things. Uh, this is the whole, let's start exploring shit uh, while we're learning. This is what makes a computer scientist a computer scientist. Knowing how to do the basics and then knowing how to find what you need. Uh, let's take a look at the next one. The next one was Q. So a Q close that. Oh, control A. Nope, that's not the one I want to do. Come on. Control A, Control B. There we go. Getting better at that. Pain, it was a pain in aspirating until I had control A. If I fucking copy and paste someone's code, some of you are fucking wordy motherfuckers. Fucking like the screen, I gotta scroll for like a minute and a half just to delete everything. And then I paste in. Alright, so Q. Uh, we have to deal with just like vector, we have to include the Q. Uh, the Q is like a line at Disneyland. First person in is first person out. So the lines, just as you know them, waiting in line. Uh, and that's why, notice the difference in the terminology. We have push now rather than push back. Because uh, there's only one way to push it. You're adding it at the end and you're taking away from the front. So, uh, Push for Q adds at the end and pop deletes one from the beginning. So you get in, you're at the front of the DMV, you're done, you fucking out of line, and it goes to the second person. So it's popping people off the top of the list. Uh, in, Here's an example of doing the empty. So while the queue is not empty, uh, in fact, they do that here. Do a C out of it. Let's see what happens. It added twin, 20, 30, 40. If I can run it, just see what happens. So it says 19 gave us the size was four. Then as it's going through the queue, 23 is printing into screen and 24, whoever coded this was not me. Fail. Why well, have two lines? I bet that was Mr. Red. It feels like a Mr. Red thing to do. Yeah, who teaches share shit? It speeds up, speeds up making resources. Uh, so we see it out, then we delete it because uh, it's a pointer. He set it up as a pointer, so we got to delete the pointer. Or, because it's a dynamically allocated item. Uh, delete it and then pop it. So we could go look at Q here. What's Q got? Such a weird spelling. Search, search. Guess what's on this little tab right there? That's Ainsley's top one exam. Oh, she could get a sneak peek if I just loaded it up. Not today! That's actually handy. You're keeping Zoom open. Like if they say something and I need, I need to know, let me know if it's like something important. 
So it supports empty size front and back, like how to access the front element, how to access the back element, push back and pop front. But it doesn't use push back and pop front, it just says push and pop. And the front of the line and the back of the line. So the way you would think of it standing in line is the commands that they use. Uh, notice there's no iterator here. When we looked at ve vectors, it had a whole list of iterator shit. Q does not. So Q is one of the first in, first outs. It's not very exciting. Uh, let's take a look at the next one. Stack. So stack works like <laughs> stack works like this. I put the first object in the stack. I put the second object in the stack. I put the third object in the stack. I put the fourth object in the stack. And it's a pain in the ass to get anything but the thing on the top of the stack. So stack does a last in first out. You got to pull them off in reverse order of what you put them in. I meant to bring a deck of cards because deck of cards is much easier to lay out. But that's me pulling Jones. Jones is having a fucking hell of a day. All right. So that's what stack does. Stack is a last in, first out scenario. Picture a stack of dishes, dirty dishes. You, well, what, why would you, you, what dumb shit grabs from the middle of a stack of clean dishes? What dumb shit grabs from any, in the middle of a stack of any, I guess it doesn't. You got secondary dishes, you're cleaning them. Only people like uh, those who shall not be named. Would even consider cleaning from the middle of the stack. Grab this thing from the top. You got a stack of dirty dishes, you grab the dirty dish from the top. So we got another stack. This is a stack of integer pointers. And they did the same thing. And so they pushed in the 10, 20, 30, 40, just like the Q. Uh, they said the size for some reason. Why they said size, what this what this does, who knows? Purpose. Feels like a Redden thing. John Redden. Tracy doesn't do shit like this. Because they never use it. Like, they could have done CO size here, but they didn't. And so we're going to do while my stack's not empty. Rather than saying front, oh, it says, what is wrong? How can we fix it? I didn't try to run it. Oh, give me a bunch of addresses. What is this bullshit? How can I fix that? Dereference it. Dereference it. As a pop quiz. And it's popping them in the reverse order that they were putting in. Recursive tracing does this. Recursive tracing generates a stack in memory. It just keeps putting shit on it until you get to the very final one. Then you get the, the base scenario and it goes, all right, return that one. It returns that one It deletes that from memory, returns that to the next one down, eventually get down to the very starting input, the bottom of the stack. 
And so stack is recursive trace or recursive programming does this. It's a stack. In fact, we do. If you do a picture and you start at the bottom of the page, it would when you're doing like the recursive trace, it would look like a stack. Redden does that. He does do that, and it bothers the shit out of me. I get the point. The point is to illustrate how it looks like a stack later on. But I think we can all have a picture in our head, and writing from the bottom of the page up feels like a dumb shit way of writing. He told us he was going to deduct points for including any of the weird things. Yeah, he told me that too, and he didn't do shit. He's all talk. Now, now I got to start threatening people and actually following through with it. <laughs> There's no way to access uh, something in a stack that's not on the top. Let's look. Stack. 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 The fuck? Whoa! <laughs> really? It doesn't have iterators. It's got empty, it's got size. It's got construct and insert an element which means I think adding to the middle of the stack. But it doesn't have a way of deleting from anywhere but the end. Or the, the yeah, the end. And they literally change the terminology to say top. Because you're picturing it like a stack of shit, rather than saying back, like everything else has been, they say top. Uh, so no iterator on stack. Uh, it looks like we could probably put something in the middle, but we can't get something out of the middle. And finally, list. Maybe. It says apples, bread and apples, bread, juice, and apples, apples, bread, and juice. Let's come over and look at the code and see what's going on. So we have to include list to do this. It looks like we've got a function in this code uh, that passes in a list by reference. Uh, pro tip, pass list this way to functions. Otherwise, you're making a copy of the list. And that can be MF and huge. Don't want to eat up all your memory for a list that's like a thousand things long and then copy it and have a second copy of the fucking list somewhere. All right, n i equals zero. What is that for? Why does it not like? It's got the IO stream. It's is it just being pissy? It's just being pissy. It's just fucking with me. Rude. All right. So is I is anywhere? I'm betting that's something we don't need. God damn it, Red. Uh, so we, we, it looks like we're going to work with string. That makes sense because we saw apples, bread, and juice. Uh, so we just start a list, declare it's a, it takes string as an input. Looks just like vector setup. The way we write it, same with Q and stack. Uh, they all have that, the name of the type and then the arrow brackets. And then what data type is going to be stored inside of it. And it looks like they're pushing front, so you can add stuff to the front and the back. It's like a way to add multiple places. And they're doing 
you see, uh, that was, let's see, did I still have it? No, no. Bring it back up real quick. So they put in the apples, they see out the apples, they do the stars. They start in iterator, so the list class does have iterators. The iterator is, again, this is a data type that's a pointer. List is templated, so we can put different things inside, including objects. Uh, and so then ITR is assigned here. It seems like this is a waste. Why don't we just do this and comment that out? I'm assuming that works. Yeah. Okay. So they've got that. We just talked about insert. I, I think it works the same way. Uh, let's see. We had apples and then they inserted bread at the beginning pointer. And it put bread before apples. So this works the same way as uh, was it a vector that we did it with? Vector head insert? It inserts before. Yeah. So this inserts before. And he decides to say this again. Oh, because 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 the beginning hasn't has changed. The beginning one is now bread, not apples. So he's changed that. That's handy. Remember when we added like something as a head node uh, in our link list? It was a pain in the ass. You had a bunch of gymnastics, pointer gymnastics, and people were like WTF. And now it's just like, nope, just go ahead and do it. We'll figure it out. So it's all put in the background. It's pretty nice. I like it. Uh, we're going to do while ITR does not equal the end of the list. And just since it's made of pointers, the list string iterator is a pointer. We got to dereference it. And rather than going temp equals temp.next, we just say plus plus. Handy. Oh, minus minus takes you back. So minus minus, they wanted to add juice in. They did output. Look at this. The list has a sort. <clears throat> so when they pass the, the list as a, by reference, it is a list, so to go through it, the easiest way is to do an iterator. I bet this is where, no, because I is the iterator. They don't need an I. Uh, this seems like, again, a waste. Let me do that. So they're saying I equals the, the list that's passed in. This is the actual list. It's not a copy of the list because we passed by reference. And we're going to print dereference to print stuff out. So this is a handy way of doing it. I don't know if I'd call it output, like output, print. Redden, it smells like redden. Presumably I didn't fuck anything up. So let's go look at the list in the, give it to me over here, there it is. Look at that, the one we've done Q, we've done stack. There's an unordered, uh, we're gonna do map in a little bit. There's an, we did vector uh, list. 
These are all container types. Class template lists are implemented as doubly linked list. And what can we do? We've got iterator begin and I think this is start at the end and go to the beginning. Returns a reverse iterator pointing to the last element in the container and iterates backwards. So yeah, just like it sounds. So if you do a plus plus with that, does it go backwards? Sounds like it. Let's take a look at the, how, it, how it looks. So they got, oh, they're doing the plus plus, doing the pass before they, they're doing the iteration before they, what the hell? That seems like an odd way of doing it. Oh, they're doing this before they do pushback. Fucking weird. Oh. No, that looks weird. Okay, reverse iterator. This is what we're here to look at. I hate this. Use namespace, people. So reverse iterator, how clever, RIT. They said my list begin until my list end. Uh, they iterate out. That's a long thing to say. Let's come over here and do it over here. What are we working with here? Not vector, so let's strings. Iterator equals uh, grocery list dot end. No, you just say begin. I gotta give it a name, that's the fucking problem. Uh, Red it. You have to say R begin. What? You have to put an R before begin. Like it's called R begin. Oh, you're right. That's a problem. Good eye. Nope. We have it equals grocery list dot r begin. Rev it less than grocery list R N R plus plus. In this case, do you even need to say equal to anything since it's already equal to the grocery list R N to get? R point of it R. It's a uh, grocery list. Or do you have to try it? I'm doing it. Doesn't the plus plus go before it too? Is that on that? I don't think it matters. I don't know why they were doing They did it on all of their shit in there for some reason. Why it would be Deep reference Reddit. All right. You go to hell. It says no 
where she's from. It's because he has to run the uh, last successful thing. Oh, no. Last successful thing. Alinus says the um, says the pop brand is invalid. All right, let's come back over here and look how they did. It. There we go. I was doing, yeah, I was comparing. There's no, there's no less than in position. When it's not in a numerical order, it's, yeah. So the less than didn't work here. I have to do. I don't even look at it. They're prim backwards? Yes. Because it was sorted as. It was apples, red juice, now it's juice, red apples. Apples, red juice, yeah, I just read apples. Yeah. It didn't help that I put all the C out and line shit in there. Let's put it like they had. There we go, it's a little easier to see this backwards. So, uh, stuff to play with there. Next thing I want to look at is, uh, it should be, if you click next, it should take you to string library stuff. Let's see, uh, they've got a bool compare in this I wanted to talk about. String has an integrator just like everything else. So let's just look at what the base, the quick code, this quick little version does. Should be just like, because strings are just a character array, right? So we got my name, it's the string. We set y to be equal to begin of x, which should be the p. And we say, while well, it's not at the end, see it out. And it should say my glorious name. What is the P for? You, there's a C out of your reference of Y. Oh, yeah. And when, oh, that's neat. I dereference. Look at this. That's kind of neat. It fucking. That's cool. Oh, that is. I thought it was a lowercase. I thought it fucking lowercase my P. I'm like, fuck you. All right, so strings have iterators just like the rest. This has a bool compare though that's worth looking at because one of your assignments is making your own comparison operator or function. So it's got this still the grocery. Oh no, I changed this to my games. This was my little special twist. Uh, so I added some shit in, let's just run it. Enter an item, That's this is bad programming. Doesn't tell the user what this is for. Uh, so go to hell. And it went through, it looks like it, uh, I already had to g-capitalize. And it found where to put go to hell in there, or it put the go to hell in there after sorting. Let's go see what it did. So I had a list of string, I have a string list, it's taking in pointers. Uh, so I called it my games, we have the iterator set up, and I have a temp string, which, oh, that's for the CN. So maybe the, this should say, this is a list of games. FA owns. Enter a game, maybe. 
and it adds whatever I did to the end. So we see in an attempt, push it back to the end of the thing. All it does is a sort and it compares. Uh, compare is, it takes in two string pointers, arg1 and arg2, and it dereferences them and compares the contents of the dereference pointers and it returns the lower one. Uh, returning the lower one, or no, it's hold on. Let's see. It's testing if it's lower. Yeah. So if it's lower, where is it being used? Ah, oh, it's using sort. The sort thing takes it and uses it this way. So you want for sort in lists and shit like that, your comparator, that's a word, believe it or not, your comparator needs to be a less than operation. Okay, next thing you want to use is, this is not an exciting thing, I don't even know why you bothered to add this in here. Oh, these are some of the assignments. Make a stack, do an object compare. Uh, I think it's easier to show you how to compare with something that's a little bit better. Let's use this person class right here. This is on the map, STL and maps. So we're going to use this person class here. Actually, I actually think I have it over here already. Did I put it over? I did put it over the online. There we go. All right, so what does this have? It's got a person class. It's got a constructor where uh, there's a couple of strings taken in. Bool is set to zero. Integer set to zero. I don't know what those are for. This is a terribly named constructor. Uh, let's come down and look at what the constructor does. Constructor does arg f. So the first one is name, first name, then last name, and then gender, then age. That might be, make this a little bit more readable. This is under more STL and maps. Uh, this right here. And it's the first box. So it's got some, uh, some accessor methods. It's get and set. And it's got private, put below, public, fail. And it's got a display method. Uh, let's go take a look at it real quick. Set, it's got the sets are obvious. How is gender working? Display is just in, if get gender is true. So if and when it does it just like that, it means get gender equals one. See out mail. Because one is true. And then, oh, that's bad beat. Females are false. That's fucked up. Who coded this shit? So it's got a display method. Where is get gender? Where's the bulk? Where's the bulk? Oh, you just have to know. 
to fucking put in a zero or a one for a male or not. How dumb is that? Not very good at commenting. All right, uh, and what's the main got? Main does a list. I guess that would have showed me zero for Mary and one and one for Bill and Jerry. And it does a list. Okay, what I wanted to work with you guys on this, let's see. It only does the first one here. So maybe we want to go through the entire list. Uh, see ya or four. ITR equals my list stop begin. ITR does not equal my list dot end. ITR plus plus. And we have to do we have to dereference ITR. to access its display. And maybe we should throw in an inline. So it's got Mary, Bill, and Jerry in here. It's added extra space for each of them. Did I see into, oh, there must be a C out inline within the display. What did I fucking fuck up here? Did you really? Oh, I commented that out and it needs it for that line right there. Okay. So comment out both. Inside of the for loop, you could also can, can you also take away the equals my list dot begin and then just leave the top thirty nine open. Take away what? So for line forty five, uh, my list dot begin, uh, you can take that one the drop and then just leave thirty nine open. That would work the same. But it wouldn't iterate through them. Wait, what do you mean? Because it's already at begin, right? So it would. Like it really does it, does it yeah, do you mean like doing, doing like, yeah. doing like the, just doing ITR? Yeah, and like then that? just leaving 39. Yeah, this fucking seems unintuitive to not yeah. include the first thing in the for loop. What were you asking? No, I was agreeing with you. Upon, I, I feel like it should be there. I should be. <laughs> I'm guessing there's an end. The display has a. Oh, it's got a double end though. Let's. I don't need all that. Excessive. All right. So it's got Mary Bull and Jerry. And now let's tell it to sort it. My list dot sort. And let's see what happens. And maybe we'll put some space in. So it looks like it's sorting by first name. Bill, Jerry, and Mary. Uh, let's give them different ages. Maybe we want to sort by age though. So let's make a compare like we had in the previous one here. But we're not comparing two strings, we're comparing two people. What? 
All right. So I gotta come down here and implement it. So I said maybe we want to compare by age. Uh, so we can pretty much grab the rest of that code, speed it up a little bit. Bull we'll answer is that. And now we've said it to, but now it's going to look, it's, it's the way you can't compare people as it. So we got to tell it what we want it to compare. Let's tell it to compare get age. And it doesn't like it because it's already a pointer and it's trying to do a pointer. There we go. So now I'm sending in a person, I'm saying, let's sort it by age. And to use this up here, I will do the sort, or is it in the main, when I sort it, I will tell it to sort by the compare. Maybe I'll call it compare age. Come rename these. That way, it's a little more clear. So I've got compare age. It's taking in two people pointers and it's accessing their age to find out what their age is. And now we can compare them that way. And when we do this sort, you just put that comparator, put your homemade comparator. Yeah. Oh, they were already in order. Let's change the other order here. Let's make that the 21, that the 23, that the 22. There we go. So it changed and put them in a different order. It's not alphabetical, it's sorting by age. And we normally do less than. We can make another one, but we should specify that it's going in reverse. We could do, could say, compare age uh, for greater. And just change the sign. And now we can have two. One that sorts from high to low, and one that's or one that sorts from low to high, which is our base one, and one that sorts from high to low. So we'll do that here. I'll copy this, and I'll do compare age. What did I call it? Or greater. And now it's doing high to low rather than low to high. Uh, the standard way though is low to high, so that's how what sort's looking for. Uh, but it will go in the order you tell it. It's cut customary to use low to high. Because that's how we can we go from one to upwards. We only count downward when we're doing like a fucking T minus rocket launch. I okay. Deep reference then in the comparators. What? Like you don't dereference the, the people. If you go to the, yeah. It's because it took it, it did it as the pointer. I was trying to get it to do. If you were to see how hard. Oh, I know what I did wrong. If I want to do it with the pointer, I got to do, let's do this. Do R1 like that, then get age. Oh, let's see. dereference in parentheses. That's, that's what I wasn't doing. I didn't have the parentheses there. So my that, this was four greater, four greater should still work here. And it does. 
So you can either use it as it is with the arrows or the parentheses in parentheses, then do the dot. Good question. So you have an assignment on this with do it with circles, like do it to compare the radius, stuff like that. Grab one of the previous circle classes. Uh, all right, next thing we're gonna do is we're going to include map. It's a map. Include map. Map is gonna be something that you're gonna be like, you dirty motherfucker, why didn't we leave with this? So, to illustrate map, now nah, we'll do it here. I'll comment out a bunch of this CF shit. We don't need all that in there. I'll comment out all that CF. If you want it later, we can use it later. So let's make an array. No, I want to just call it R. And what's it going to be? It's going to be an integer array. Let's do an integer array. Ah, let's do a string array. Do the people. Let's do a person array. There we go. Uh, my peeps say three people. Uh, my peeps bracket zero is dot. Doesn't like that. Getting like that either. First, set first. Ah, see, this is a pain in the ass already. Did you make, make, make a new person? Let's do that. But I need to make a pointer if I do. We'll do that. Fifteen thousand fucking students. Finding someone through the array. Think about all the search th this would require. And the search you're going through, trying to find the fucking exact name that matches, is a pain in the ass. So 
because you gotta go through them one at a time, search for them one at a time. Map fixes that. What map does, Uh, map we set up similar to the other thing, but the first thing we put in it is the key, and the second thing we put in it is the value. It's called the key value system. For my students, this could be our banner ID. The key is something unique to each person. Maybe username your login ID, you know, something like that. Value is everything else about that person. And we can put anything and any type of data type in for either of these. They can be different different data types, which makes sense. Why have a, like your use banner ID and then that's an integer and then forcing us to use only numbers to describe the person, that doesn't make sense. So we could do map banner ID and then have information on the person that way. Let's do something similar to that. I don't want to do banner ID, that's kind of lame. Let's say we got people logging in for a video game. Let's do something like that. Uh, so let me comment this shit out. Let me comment that out. And did I include map already? I did include map. Put map at the top. Uh, we're gonna make a map and it's gonna take in uh, a string as our key and it'll return a person. We'll do a person pointer. And let's call it a uh, Video game characters. Game, game characters. Players. And so we can set this up where it's just like using an array. It combines all the elements that are nice with list with an array. I can say player, uh, and then this string, let me make a little comment here. String is the user player name, and for login name. And the person is their character in the game. No, no, person is just them. This is the person that it belongs to. So player happy in brackets is going to be a new person. And his name is David Jones. Uh, we had gender next. I'm a male. And my age is uh, Nanya. 48. And then I can do player Voldemorta. Equals new person. And lowercase Painsley. I call her first name Painsley. And her last name is Badass B. Throw her bone. She's, probably, she's not mad yet. She will be. She's already loved enough? No, she's here. She's just keeping quiet. 
I assume she identifies as a little lady. I think she's 18, she might be 17. I don't know, I don't remember. Oh, not 180, that's fucking old. Uh, throw in Juan. Uh, turtle wrecker, what is it? Yeah. Fucking bad shit crazy. Why? Why? I gotta ask, why? Uh, I think I just... Maybe change it? It was something like, it was, it was something funny, but also really and inappropriate. And that's better? And, uh, I took like, uh, I think I just got like a random generator and then just made it. Uh, I'm missing some shit here. It's where dad is, right? Yeah. Uh, I don't know, 21? 20. 20? All right, so we got this map. And uh, let's see, how do I want to access it? Uh, I called it player, so uh, player, and it's about person. So I can do player FA dot display. So I can now have, rather than having an array where I'm forced to use zero, one, two, three, four. This is an array where I define my own fucking indexing. So map works just like an array. But you get to customize the indexing. That's fucking cool. Right? It's pretty cool. Uh, and it's like a picture of like Gmail, like if you fucking, how many Gmail accounts there are, you're fucking logging, you go into login, if they had to literally search through, go through them one at a time until they got to your Gmail uh, address, if you use Gmail, you, it would take you fucking an hour to log into your email every time. It's instantaneous access. If you would go to Google right now, Google uses Maps. Some badass maps. Uh, we search for, I don't know, Iron Man costume for Halloween. Adults, yes. I spelled costume wrong. Four hundred and sixteen million results in point three four seconds. So it searches. It has every everything. So like as soon as a new website goes up on the web, they fucking know about it. Like right, I don't know, how, I don't know how they fucking find out about it. And they fucking it's put in the list or the map, and so it's like quickly found anything with like they do keywords. I don't know how they do it, uh, but like your Gmail definitely is working this way. Each person has each each email has a unique user. Thing before the at Gmail or at Yahoo or at whatever you're using. Uh, and so it's like super quick, just like that. Uh, and we can use iterators with it. So I can do a map string person pointer. Oh, oh, where's my, there it is. Do an iterator here. I'll call it iter map. And I will set that equal to player. Dot begin. You're right, I did. Player dot begin. And 
let's see. Uh, why did you put a space like that? Do I need that? Or iterator map. He doesn't like it. Oh, it's because I spelled it wrong. Map dot end. Enter map plus plus. Why don't you like that? Or downshift, but interrap is just not equal. Interrap is not equal. Equal player. Yeah. Thank you. There we go. That's what's wrong. Uh, what are we doing? Uh, player. What do I have access to? I'm working with 10 or internet. Internet. That is my gate. So first and second, first is your key thing. I'll write this in. Okay. These right here, real quick. Inner map. I guess I need a comment thing. I need I need to do it the right way. Dot or arrow first accesses the key. Which is our username and iter map arrow second accesses the corresponding person. So I could do C out iter map first. I need to dereference it though. Is it, is it going to see up the first key or just the, all of the keys, all the usernames? It should do them one at a time. Okay. Why do you not like that? Map pointer first Is that what you're bitching about? I don't 
shouldn't be able to dereference the first one. Oh wait, it is a pointer. What's going on? What's wrong here? I think um, first doesn't need the parentheses. It's not a That's it. I was about to go. I have to. Yeah, that would still use that. That doesn't need that. Okay. So you need to do it one of those two ways. I'll comment on one of them. Uh, and I'm going to change this. Longs to and then we'll do air map. Air map dash second. Dot display. That one I have to do reference first. That's it, exactly. That's the fucking problem. I don't think I need the parentheses there. Let's find out. Then I'll do this C out in line here so it's not all just getting blur. It changed the order of it. Hefe, Voldemort, and Turtle was how I put them in. But it came out with Hefe, Turtle, Voldemort. So let's go over and look at the map in the. This thing over here. C, SM Hop. Map. Does it. So maps are associated containers that store elements from formed by a combination of key value, that's our username, and a mapped value. Notice we use person here. Uh, following a specific order. Following a specific order. In a map, the key values are generally used to sort and uniquely identify the elements, while the mapped values store the contents associated with this key. Uh, internally, the elements in a map are always sorted by its key first. Or not, it doesn't say first. Following a specific strict weak ordering criterion. So you can do an unordered map. Map containers are generally slower than owner maps because sorting takes time. Sorting is actually pretty expensive. Our next thing that we're doing is like comparing sorting algorithms and going which one's faster. Some algorithms are faster than others. So that's what we're going to be doing after we're done with maps. Uh, you can do an unordered map. Message, that's all that really fucking changes. Change map to unordered map and it won't change the order. Uh, so it does sort it. But we, we can, if you're looking for a particular person, just information, you can, like, we could do something as simple as, I'll come out, comment out that bit right there. You can see out which person formation on. And 
rather than trying to do the whole algorithm or take the time to say if it's not there, tell them fuck off. We're just going to do presume that they enter the right information. I need a temp string. And now we can do player bracket uh, ten. Ah, I need the colon. It's already there. Dot display. And so we can have it look for the information. I want Voldemort as information. She's Paisley Badass B. She's a female age 18. Notice it uppercased it. Is that something that's in the display code? Is it something in, oh, they did the two upper here. She said it's, uh, so it's set in to store them that way. She said it's uppercase because it's talking about her. <laughs> now it's talking about Paisley Badass B. You're not Paisley. It's not your name. You're Voldemort, though. So, okay. All right. You want it to be about you. We'll make it about you. There we go. I want it on Turtle Record. So, like, that's when we, we, I do something like this. We could easily doing one with, like, a, we do a map integer and person pointer and make this student. And then the integer is uh, banner ID. And we set up something, I set up a map like that. I uh, imagine that's actually how everyone's information is stored. Uh, not sure how they store it as, as uh, a person. Like, is there a list? Because uh, all your grades are stored, and you're, they don't know how many classes you're taking ahead of time. So there's it's got to be something that grows. So maybe like a vector or a list. On Monday, we're going to do map where what we store is a list. So check this out. If you guys want to see what we're, we're going to do Monday night, this is Monday night's fun, fun, fun. So we're going to have map. Uh, we'll use, again, the, the user login name or player name. And we are going to use, that'll be this string. And then we will do a list of something called loot. And loot is, let's see, there's a big bracket. Loot has its own thing and then I need another big bracket. So what it will have is like Hefe. Hefe's over here. Effie's got like a magic sword and maybe it'll have a price tag. It's worth a thousand gold and he's got a magic ring and it's got a price down. Magic rings are more expensive and then Voldemort, she's playing and she don't fuck around. She's got the dagger of doom. And it's worth 5,000. 
and she's got cloak of invisibility something like that that's worth quite a bit not as much as the dagger and maybe she's got more than two items maybe she's got a speed boost and that's only a thousand and then one Juan just has some broke ass newbie gear because he ain't, he's a new player with no value. Like they have like Hefe and then Voldemort and then there's just one. <laughs> it's Terraria with a running turtle record. Turtle record is really fucking long. Voldemort is already pushing it. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. And we'll look at setting it up. So we'll need to make another like class structure or I'll probably do structure rather than class because fucking making access to it sucks. Takes a while and for teaching demo, it's not really necessary. Uh, but we'll see how we can do something with a map with lists so that this has it so I can keep adding players this way. And they can keep accumulating loot, more loot this way. As you go hunting and you get more treasure, you get more loot in the game. So loot will be a structure. If we have time, we'll get we'll do some inheritance, make like a weapon that inherits off of loot. And it has more details than specific to it, not just name and price, but maybe how much damage it does. Some DD nerd shit. That's Monday. Other than that, uh, any questions? This map thing is really neat. The whole, are, are, is everybody waiting? I'm just You're just waiting by. <laughs> I like it because you can like find anything instantly and find it by something you would use to look for. Like, I don't know that fucking Boulevard is player, player one in all this, but I'm player zero. I'm ground zero on the list. <laughs> She's player one on this, so I wouldn't know. In fact, with a name starting with B, I would think not. In fact, she's probably not. I entered her as that person, but she was actually the last player on the list because her, her alphabetically it was sorted and stored alphabetically. So, like, but I would look her up as Voldemort. Good stuff. That's it for today. Peace out. You're actually 297. Look, you're not even like trying to hide it. Those are like to everyone. She got mad at me in calculus. She sent me a direct message and I referenced her. She's like, you're breaking the rules. You said if I tell you, I send you a direct message on Zoom, you won't announce it. I like shit, you're right. Bye-bye. Come on, Dave. Yeah, we're doing the Python thing tomorrow if anyone's interested. Oh, yeah. Check out the uh, the RSVP on it so they know that you're coming and you want to come. See you Monday. Yeah, see ya.